if you are making a website or making updates to an existing website but don't want your visitor to have access to it until it is done then this video is for you because in it i'm going to show you how to create a maintenance mode page in wordpress i will specifically show you how to create a maintenance mode page in elementor coming up hello guys this is sonic here at Tiku pages web where i do web tutorials just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing that's it let's jump into the video so this is a website i'm creating and i don't want it to be accessed as yet therefore i want to create a maintenance page for it to do that i go to the back end of my website then i go over to templates and i click on add new and i choose a template type i select page and i go ahead and give my template a name so i'll give it maintenance mode then i click on create template and it will open with elementor next i need to do a word with the header as well as the footer since i don't want people to have access to any of my links to navigate to my website so to do that i go over to settings then under page layout i change it to elementor canvas now the header and the footer is gone next i click on add template then i search for maintenance and these are the available maintenance mode pages i will get i'll go ahead and choose this since it is free to use so i click on insert to be able to proceed i need to connect to the template library of elementor so i click on get started i already have an account with elementor with this email address so i click on connect and the page will be inserted in here i click to remove the under construction text from here and i enter site under maintenance I will reduce the size of the text and the style typography I keep it at 80 I will change the color to match my side colors so I go to global colors and I choose this color next I click in here to change the colors as well as the text so I'll enter my email address next I go over to style then icon color I choose this color next is content the title color I make it black and then the color on top of the column I'll change it so I click on column icon right here then I go over to style then I go over to border the color I go to custom and I choose this awesome I want this same settings to be applied to the rest of the columns so I go ahead and right click on it copy right click in here paste style right click on the column copy right click here paste style perfect then in here I change the text so I just go ahead and edit it I don't need this particular column so I right click on it and I click on delete the next thing I'm going to do is change the background image so I click on edit section right here click on style choose image you can go ahead and upload an image from your computer but I'll go ahead and upload an image from my media library so I select this then I click on insert media this is perfect and I go ahead and click on publish now my page is live next I exit to the dashboard then I go over to Elementor, click on Tools. Under Tools, I click on Maintenance Mode. Currently, Choose Mode is disabled. I drop down the arrow, then I click on Maintenance. Next, who can have access to my website? Currently, it is set to Login Users. I can drop down the arrow, choose Custom, and I can assign it to different roles if I want. But I don't want to do this, so I go back to Login Users. And I choose a template I drop down the arrow and I choose maintenance mode that is a page I just created in Elementor click on save changes now maintenance mode is on right here awesome 
Now if I open my website in a private window, it will take me to the maintenance mode page. Perfect. Now anytime my website is finished and I want to take it back to live, all what I need to do is come back to choose mode and I click on disabled and I go ahead and save the changes. So that's it on how to create a maintenance mode page using Elementor. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.